Uh, so today we're actually going to be talking about the IRS hiring thousands of tax agents to <clears throat> crack down on the social media influencers who brag about the private jets, getting on the planes, all this money they're making, yada, yada, yada. And the IRS is saying, some of y'all lying. We're here to collect. Let's play this video. Oh, yes, we are about to have this conversation because I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. The IRS has hired thousands of tax agents to crack down on social media influencers and business owners for lifestyle audit. I made a video about this before, y'all. Yo, you posting that you doing all this, you got this, and you then gave this person forty to fifty thousand dollars, and you you posting all of this shit, and at, at the same time you saying you got this money in a short amount of time. You don't think that they gonna crack down and try to see what the fuck you got going on? This is why I tell y'all this business shit is a high demand. You don't just come into this, make some money, and keep it pushing. It don't work like that. You gotta understand your taxes, the write-offs, understand where money is going, how you're paying yourself, have your operating agreement set up. You gotta have your BOI filled out at this point. It's so much. And you know what else, y'all? For the people who are literally selling their lifestyle, the Ponzi scammers, where the consumers are the product, you don't think they're going to crack down on it? Oh, oh, I made $30,000 this month. So if you want to make $30,000 too, go ahead and click that link in and buy this digital product. It'll, sh it'll show you how you can make $30,000 too. Ponzi scam. All of this is reason after reason why I do not post my numbers ever. <laughs> For my business owners, make sure y'all are actually playing the game and not just cashing out. Because they telling you it's about to catch up to you. Let this also be a reminder to file your beneficial ownership information report. You can do that at BOIR.org. Love y'all. Here's the main thing. The government wants as much money as it can give from you, even though they don't want to give you anything. They want as much money as they can get from you. Even though they use your tax dollars for wars overseas, paying millionaires and billionaires, billions of dollars and trillions of dollars just disappearing, a trillion dollar printed out every day for over a week to bail out Wall Street. They don't, but they want to make sure they get you, you, okay? So let's just keep that real. Um, that's the thing when people, you know, you got all these people out here making them money from social media and hey, more power to you, okay? I wish I could be a part of that crew, okay? uh but that's the thing you know you have a lot of people who are out here making they're making money but they're not necessarily reporting or it's a lie like i remember i watched it was this white lady i think she was australian and i seen her video pop up randomly on youtube and she was talking about how a lot of these influencers like it's hullabaloo like for example you would see these influencers take a picture by a jet, you know, like they're in a private jet or something and they're sitting down and they're taking a picture. But then you go and look and you think it's real. But then they're like, yeah, we, we go and rent out, you know, like this area. I mean, it's not even a jet. It's just like this area where they do like photo props and whatnot. And they're like, yeah, we just go ahead. We rent it out and, you know, we just go in, take pictures and then keep it moving. What? You know, just to sell someone a lifestyle. Also, another thing was you would have like a authentic or not Louis Vuitton, Gucci, whatever bag. Right. And then the person would say, hey, look, I just bought this expensive little bag. Oh, my God. And doing all the extra. And then you're like, oh, man, they're making so much money. Oh, I want to be like that. Like these Asian chicks were doing. It was five of them put money together to go and buy the purse. You know, so they each put in, let's say, a few hundred dollars just to go and buy a purse. And then they each rotated who would go and take pictures of it, you know, with it that day. So it seems like, oh, man, they each bought a purse, but it's all the same purse. Same thing with clothes or they'll go and return it. You know, it's always something, you know, so not everyone. I'm not saying people aren't legit making money out here, but that's also another thing. And another part where she brought about with the Ponzi schemes, um, Hey, buy my digital product. And I bought, I bought about one person's digital products. You know, they were like 20 bucks, 10 bucks or something like that. So I was like, okay, this isn't the same much. I mean, this ain't breaking the bank like that, especially at that time. So I was like, okay, let me, one of them I found to be completely useless. I was like, this is like nothing, you know? Um, but with the other two, I was like, okay, this is, this is a different way to do things. Um, but even with that, the person was advertising, like, yeah, you don't have to, you know, the startup cost is zero. You don't have to pay zero for this. It... You didn't mention anything about taxes though. 
you know, and then the person is like, okay, well, how you do taxes? Well, you know, my mom does them or, you know, or, oh yeah, you know, I got it. And, you know, so that's the thing when people are doing all this bragging, oh, I got this, I got this, I got this. Make sure y'all, if you're going to do anything, hire a tax professional. And that's also another thing. You have people who they want to brag about all these lifestyles and you find out they're not even worth even a quarter of that. Oh, I make a million dollars, you girl. No, you don't. You make like 50 grand a year. There's nothing wrong with that. And that's also another thing. People want to be a part of this lifestyle thing because lifestyle, a lot of people dream of that. A lot of people look at lifestyle and they're like, oh, that's what I want to be a part of. But they're not realizing, yeah, it, you're part of the lifestyle. But at the end of the day, I mean, if you don't make that kind of money, it's unattainable. You know, you can't you can't maintain something like that. Let me know what you think down below. Hello, hello, hello. I would greatly appreciate it if you can actually support my little small business called Latrice Limited. It is on latricelimited.com. So as you can see right here, I actually sell candles and a wide variety of other items as well. This is my big forehead, okay? Um, but I actually wanna show you just a couple of different items that I do sell. Um, this is actually going to be a part of my soap collection that I have. As you can see, I have a variety of different soaps on here. I actually have two pages worth of soaps and um, everything is handmade, okay? Natural, clean ingredients as well. Um, you can also see right here, these are my candles, all right? They're all handmade, everything. Vanilla, sweet roses, uh, sage and vanilla. Vanilla and sweet roses are actually my favorite scents that I do have. I also have a few other items on here. I'm actually going to go and show you all the bath bombs that I do have. As you all can see, there's eucalyptus and sage, uh, sweet pea harmony, and so many more. And then we're just going to finish off on the gift sets that I have. There's a variety of them from like the big ones like this for 45. And then you have some of the smaller ones and you have these itty bitty ones down here that includes this essential oil blends. Definitely shop with your girl definitely help your girl out i would greatly appreciate it this is like my little baby over here okay <laughs> um i would greatly appreciate it and enjoy